this is Pitch Girl Black here, and welcome back to another installment of the Skull Shimmer Reviews Month event, in which today I'm going to be reviewing the target novelization of the yeah, Crusade. Without further ado, let us begin this review by taking a look at the cover art and the presentation of the book. So we have uh, Doctor Who and the Crusaders, uh, David Whittaker in red down there, with a sort of orangey red. Uh, highlighted by white uh, neon uh, Doc 2 logo and then for the cover art itself uh, for the main text we have uh, <laughs> we have um, uh, some light bl we have a light blue sky sort of um, from the clouds and rain and stuff uh, and then we have um, uh, then for the cover, sort of cover itself, in the background we have this uh, castle on a hill. Then in these sort of rocky wastelands we have the TARDIS taking centre stage. Um, some knights fighting, uh, who I believe is um, Saladin fighting a knight uh, in the foreground. Uh, so yeah, I quite like this cover art, but to me it's a little odd because as you can see the TARDIS is sort of... Uh, materializing during this scene depicts on the cover as you can see the TARDIS is partly materializing through this guy's shield um, par partly through his arm as well partly through that guy's arm as well it's it's a bit of an it's a really good cover when you look at it from like far away but when you start peering at it and looking at the details it is a bit odd <coughs> and then for the spine uh, and as you can see, I am reviewing the WH Allen hardback for the sake of this review. Uh, Dog 2 and the Crusaders, David Whittaker, WH Allen. Uh, just to clarify, I have no other editions of this book as of now in this collection, as of now in my book collection, but hopefully that will change. Um, because hopefully I'll get um, the 2011-2012 uh, paperback and and hopefully all versions of this book which will be quite a fantastic goal to achieve although it will be difficult to um, get the Frederick Muller original might as well just get the 2016 <coughs> anyways I am getting distracted um, uh, so then for the back we have the blurb set against this sort of purple purpley uh, very dark blue uh, back uh, original price which was £5.95 net the ISBN number 0419036701 uh, which probably fascinated a lot of you guys um, anyways uh, for the blurb uh, within minutes of the TARDIS's arrival on 12th century earth the docks and his companions are in serious trouble they happen to intercept a Salasin attack on Richard the Lionheart thereby enabling the English king to escape otherwise certain capture but Barbara is kidnapped and carried off by the Saracens to the Sultan Saladin's court. Saladin spares her life on condition she entertains her court, his court, by telling stories. And like uh, Shazadai, if she fails, then she must die. I'm not the most exciting of blurbs um, ever, but anyways, for the innards, we have just some blank pages. Uh, Doctor and the Crusaders. Uh, Doctor and the Crusaders, based on the BBC television serial by David Whittaker, by arrangement with the British Broadcasting Corporation. Uh, David Whittaker, illustrated by Henry Fox, some library crap, and W. Allen, London, 1985. And then, then we've got various copyright guff. Uh, and then, then we've got the star of the book. This is a 153 page long Doctor Who book spread across a prologue and eight overall chapters and I would like to point out that this target novelization is one of the few with um, actual illustrations in it and I will say that the illustrations in this are pretty good from what I can remember I think there may have been a couple where it was like a little inconsistent as to what the actual sort of characters uh, looks like um, so yeah it's so like here for instance uh, this is an image from episode one 
uh, as you can see there's Barbara down there who looks quite a bit like Barbara and then that is supposed to be Ian up there um, does look a bit like Ian but I feel like the resemblance could have been a bit better and I feel like and I think there may have been a couple of other illustrations within this book as well that they were a bit inconsistent um, but the illustrations overall in this book are really good very good likeness of the first doctor just there um, but with the presentation of this book uh, over with uh, what is the general consensus of my own personal thoughts and opinions on the no on the Crusaders target novelization <coughs> as for the general consensus this book has gotten very positive reviews with a few three star reviews and numerous four star and five star reviews uh, and an average rating of 3.6 out of 5 how many stars for me personally unfortunately only three come to mind with this book which is a absolutely humongous which is a massive shame as I personally absolutely adore the TV version of this novelization it being my second favorite heart now story overall just behind the Daleks master plan well maybe a few miles and my favorite pure historical story closely followed by Marco Polo the Crusaders on TV was such a phenomenal and powerful story about political conflict during the time of Richard the Lionheart and the Third Crusade, with some amazing moments and one of the best performances in Doctor Who history, thanks to Gene Marsh. I had the feeling that this novelisation would be in safe hands as it is written by the same person that created the same source material. I was right, and I was wrong. The problem with this, uh, the problem with this target novelization overall for me is that it's trying to be another celestial or robot by trying to be a safe, straight, uh, straight TV to page novelization with no bullshit and trying to be equally as good. And it's just as powerful, and it's and being just as powerful and blah, blah, blah. The problem with this target, the problem is with this target novelization is that it's trying to be another celestial robot by being. Uh, trying to be a safe straight to TV page novelization with no bullshit and trying to be an equally as good as the original TV version it's just nowhere near as powerfully written for me I feel like the scenes of battle and the violent ones could have gone on had, could have been a lot more powerfully written than they were here and it just lacks the power of the original version had <coughs> On top of that, Whitaker felt the need to admit the scene of Richard and Joanna arguing about her marriage in episode 2, one of the greatest scenes in Doctor Who history that made the story it was in even better. Why did this have to go? Why? Overall, this target novelisation is one I wouldn't really recommend overall. It's okay, I enjoyed it to an extent but it's just nowhere near as energetic or powerful as its original TV counterpart. I would overrate the target novelization of The Crusade a 6 out of 10. So like, follow, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Skulls Dinner Reviews and the Skulls Dinner Reviews Month event. So like, follow, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Pitch Gold Black, dematerializing. <laughs>